Hi everyone, my name is Eric. Welcome to the first of a series of tutorial videos to help you achieve your rendering and movie making goals. Today we'll cover some basic techniques for rendering and using 3D presets. The first case we'll look at is an archaeological jawbone scan. So we'll go in 3D. And as always, the first thing we we'll want to do is adjust the window leveling. So using the bicated mode, we'll move the left part of the window to remove the surrounding hair and the right part to make everything more opaque. Then we'll use a 3D preset. Here we'll use the sand preset to give it a old bone look, if you will. Then simply adjust the light position, the camera position, the, the angle and the zoom value. And then we'll simply adjust the strength of the focus effect to make the back part of the scan more blurry and to bring the attention of the viewer at the front of the scan. Our second case will be a metallic or industrial part scan. So let's go in 3D. And just like before, we want to adjust the window leveling. So let's adjust the yellow lines to adjust the window, remove the noise and air. And then we'll use a 3D preset called Grayscale Solid. So already we have a nice metallic look and feel. Then we can adjust the light position. And we can also enable the focus effect. We'll use the autofocus option and adjust the strength. With the autofocus option, the application will detect the depth of what is near the center of the screen and automatically adjust the focal distance in real time. One last neat trick I want to show is how to use the edge contrast effect to visualize the internal structure of a data set. In the 3D setting panel, check the edge contrast option, and the slider next to it will allow you to adjust the threshold of what is considered an edge. This allows you to visualize the structure, but also the porosities near the top of the scan. Adjusting the light sliders, we can then darken or brighten the edges 